Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ziyu Zhang. I am a junior in the college, double majoring in physics and computer science. And I had the incredible honor this summer of spending 10 weeks in the Philippines interning at El Mio Resorts, which is an ecotourism uh, resort chain. And you might wonder, as a physics and computer science major, why I'm going out and uh, doing social impact work. I would say that I actually spend most of my free time in the business school. Uh, I've been in the Compass Fellowship for the past two years, uh, which is a social entrepreneurship organization on campus. And after learning about it, interacting with it on campus, I've been very moved by the impact of young leaders uh, in the social and business world. And one initiative I did freshman year with some friends was to try to create this nonprofit for um, elementary music education. So social impact has been something that I thought a lot about, how we can move that into the corporate world. And also, second, I love to travel. Uh, I love Asia in particular, so El Nio just felt like the perfect place. So this summer, uh, five interns went to the Philippines, and we were each assigned a different area to work on. Mine was focused on data. And uh, when you look at El Nio resorts, they are an ecotourism resort in that they are situated in a naturally conserved area. Uh, so that means that they have a lot of focus on animal conservation and sustainability, waste management, et cetera. They have a lot of data to track the trends that they've had for the past few years. Uh, but when I went this summer, a lot of that data was very disparate. It was in these Excel sheets that were all over the place. And so I went in and organized them, created new templates, created databases, and also organized um, a, a user-facing data platform where, for example, if you have a guest feedback form, you can do that digitally instead of on a paper form. Uh, and another animal conservation effort they have is that when a guest comes to the resort, they have a checklist uh, where if a guest sees, for example, a turtle, they can check it off, mark where they saw it, and that will help with animal conservation efforts. And I basically transported that online as well. Um, so one user-facing website um, that I created is called wellneo.com. Check it out. It's uh, on that booth. But that was really, really exciting. Uh, but beyond that, I also had the opportunity to work with sustainability initiatives as well as community engagements. And so one really, really impactful moment of mine this summer was when I was helping with a dolphin rescue. Um, dolphin's right here. His name is Wally. And I was helping to rescue it because it was beached one day. They found it and they brought it onto the shore, helped, uh, made like a sand pit and tried to help recover it. And I was there. I tried to warm it up, and I thought that everything was going to be okay. But the next day, I got news that it actually died. And when they opened up the dolphin, did an autopsy on it, they found that it was a black plastic bag in the stomach that was constricting, that's why it died. And so going to the Philippines, seeing the natural beauty was amazing. But I also got the opportunity to see the real impact of climate change and human behavior on our ecosystems. And so um, one really important reflection was to be more empathetic with basically our environment and to do what's inconvenient, to do what's right. Um, so that was really, really important for me. And another thing that was that I really had the honor of doing was to engage a lot with the local community. One project um, from Brian, who was another intern at El Nido this summer, unfortunately he's in Chile right now, was he worked with the local women to help them, to help teach them how to make little branded El Nido turtles. You can find them at our booth as well. And basically, those are now the first locally made products in the resort boutiques. And I had the opportunity to work with a woman. Um, that's Joanne, Eileen, Jenaline. There's Brian. He's in Chile. And working with them and seeing how grassroots movements, like local communities and local individuals, can create social impact in the communities that can really expand into more regional and more global efforts, um, that was really powerful to me as well. So thank you very much.